Alright, today, guys, this is what we're doing. We're going to tear apart this PC because we need the motherboard, CPU, RAM. We need to take the GPU out because the GPU needs to come apart so we can put the water block on the GPU. And we're going to start transferring all of the components over to this case. And then once we transfer it over, we will then try to figure out how we're going to water cool this. How am I going to do this? There was a couple of things that I did have concerned. I'm not sure if this is going to be a big issue. One of my biggest fears is that I'm going to get this thing completely tore apart and start to put the parts in here. And I'm going to very quickly find out that this ain't going to work. Reason being is because, well, there's no place to hide anything. No place to hide nothing. No wires. I mean, we're talking pumps. Uh, there's just so much crap that needs to be wired up. And there's no place to hide any of that. I mean, you're going to clearly see the wires running up. All right. I need to uh, physically wash the dust off of this. So I'm going to use some alcohol and we'll just spray it. Um, I'm not sure where I want to do this at. I guess I can set it up inside of that. Let's see here. There. I was thinking about inventing a motherboard dishwasher that would uh, put it inside something and it would wash it for me, kind of like a dishwasher does with parts. Take our, take our alcohol. Just spray the board. Good. And give it a let it all run off and stuff. Drippy D drip drip. This is 100% safe. So you're good. You, nothing will happen. All right. Let's uh, let's set it down. And then. Do not use an air compressor. Use a blow, like a blow dryer on cool or a leaf blower, but never, never use an air compressor unless you got a moisture trap on it because there's, there's moisture in the air lines and it will short stuff out. What I like to use is a, this is um, an air mattress pump and I duct tape the tip on and then cut it off so that way it'll blow air and it does a really good job. It, it's pretty powerful. I just wanted to make sure that everything was good. So what I did is I took the bench top power supply, our tester, and I just looped it together, flipped it on, and check it out. I just wanted to make sure it worked before I hooked it all up, you know? Good deal, we can proceed. Other board, water block, CPU water blocks installed. Anyway, I was uh, installing the motherboard and I had to remove the, uh, the M.2 shield to put the motherboard screw in, that one right there. Well, anyway, I noticed that my M.2 drive is not secured at the bottom. This little tiny screw was missing. So I had to dig, uh, you know, in my motherboard boxes until I got to this course I started here and worked my way this way and none of these had them but this one the MSI it had a small bag of four of these in there so I was like well of course my luck is I should have started here but I started there yep great anyway I'm gonna install that put that on and then we will continue with what we are trying to do all right radiator time so what I'm thinking is, is I'm gonna use these fan screws okay it through all right and then the radiator will screw into the thread giving me that much of a gap but I was like "Ooh, what do I use to fill in that void and I was like oh I'll 3d print something and I'm like oh, I'll take too much time pose we'll cut 
We'll put a washer behind that. We'll cut the hose. And then the hose will provide, because this is some stiff um, weed whacker hose, two cycle, so it's real strong. I got them installed, man. It looks good. Yep, looks real good. I'm gonna put the radiator in now. <sighs> Wish me luck. Uh-oh, do I need the ones in the middle? Ooh, I guess I probably do. Well, we'll start with four and see where we end up, and then if I need the two more in the middle, I'll do that. But first major problem, reservoir pump. Now these two, when they're attached, will sit like that. All right, this will not fit in here. It's there, it can't go here because the shroud it can't go there if you come around the front even if I was to put it right here it would still it would be very tight and hard plus there's a glass that goes there I can't put it down here um, I can't I could put it back here like that but it would hang off the back so I was like okay well the reservoir is definitely gonna have to go on the front and I was thinking or on this this side but I was also thinking what if I laid it down the pump would have to sit like that you know because I got two of these and I could run the other reservoir pump on this side y'all know me I want to completely overcomplicate it you know run it like that on both sides I think that would look cool. Um, you want the pump the lowest point in the system. I just hope that it can move water sideways because not all pumps are made to move water. You know, some of them have to be straight up and down. Um, so I don't know if that one will do it. But yeah, that's part of my problem right now. I'm trying to figure this part out. All right, I wanted to uh, test this and make sure that it was going to work right. I act, it's not marked. I don't know what's in or out. I actually thought that that was out and then that was in. <coughs> <coughs> but that's wrong. Uh, that's out and then it's going back in. So what I want to do now is turn it on its side and see if it will still pump. It looks like it is. Is that water still pumping out of there? I don't know. I guess the only way to really tell. I mean, I feel water going through it, so I think so. Yeah, definitely. I can feel the water. All right, so they will pump sideways. Good to know. So I'm running into another major problem. I kind of like the idea of having the dual reservoirs, but here's my thing. Um, how's the loop going to go? So water would come out and go up. Now, if it goes up, runs into the CPU, out of the CPU, into... Right, let's look at this take the GPU put the G this isn't the GPU we're going to use I'm just kind of expirate so the water comes up out of there into the CPU out of the CPU into there and then out of there all the way back up to there you'd have all these tubes and stuff running every which way and I'm trying to keep it clean as possible so if the pump was because loop or if it goes into here and then to here into there it doesn't matter loop order the the direct the order of which the components are doesn't matter if it goes to the gpu then the radiator then the cpu it doesn't matter if it goes from the cpu the radiator the gpu doesn't matter all right so this will go up i'm thinking and pump water into the rad the rad will then come out go into the cpu out of the CPU into the GPU out of the other side of the GPU 
and then back down in right but how do I incorporate the other side so I'm saying it just keeps getting crazier and then if I do do it that way then I'm gonna have these wires and this is what you'll see you'll see the because this is the face of it so when you look at it you're gonna see the butt of that pump and that's not very pretty so I'm not sure guys this is I'm literally just I keep running into walls my other option is not to hardline it I can maybe hardline it in some areas and then soft tube the rest I don't know